All right, today we're going to review a little bit of the D chord and some things you can do with the D chord. Um, if you take, if you're not familiar with the D chord, um, your D chord, you first start your first finger right there in the third string second fret. Put your middle finger on the first string in that second fret, and then your third finger, the second string third fret. So just in case I messed up, first finger, second, a third string second fret, middle finger first string second fret and then ring finger second string third fret and on this you want to be sure and strum only four strings and down you don't want to strum all six strings that doesn't the D chord does not involve all the six strings um, so just make note of that four strings and down on the D chord now some fancy things or kind of neat things you can do with the D chord uh, if you lift your middle finger in the position it's at as long as your fingers are playing on their fingertips if you lift that middle finger and create what's called a D2 chord, because we're adding that E note, we call it a D2. So you want that E string to, to play through and to fall through. So practice going D and then D2. D and D2. And all I'm doing is lifting my middle finger up and leaving that E string open. And something else you can do, you can put that pinky down right there on the first string third fret. It'll sound something like this. It's a suspended chord, in other words it kind of helps build suspense in music. Uh, you don't want to end usually on a suspended chord, but uh, you can do some neat transition stuff within that D suspended. So uh, try D and then put your pinky down, play D suspended. And then go back to D, just lift your pinky up with your middle finger still down. D and D suspended. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try, we're going to do this back to back. We're going to do D for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then I want you to do D two for four beats, which is just lift your middle finger. D two, three, four. And then you'll do the D suspended, which you just put your pinky down. And you'll do that for four beats. D suspended, two, three, four. And then back to D. Two, three, four. You'll hear this uh, used a lot in like Tom Petty's um, Free Fallen. Uh, you can hear it, it he's like I say, he's playing around with the D2, D suspended, and D chord. Um, or When I Survey the Wonderful Cross by Matt Redman. Lot of different songs that use that. So let's um let's practice doing four beats a piece on D, the D2, and then D suspended, and then we'll end back on D. So start with your D chord. One, two, ready, go. D two three four. D two, D two three two three four, and D suspended. D suspended two three four. Back to D. D. Let's do that again. Let's start it. D, ready, go. D, two, three, four. Lift your middle finger. D, two, three, three, four. D suspended. D suspended. Two, three, four. And back to D, two. Regular D. So let's do those all back to back and forth. D, ready, go. D, two, three. D two, two, three, four. D suspended, two, three, four. D two, three, four. D two, three, four. D two, two, three, four. D suspended, two, three, four. And D two, three. One more time. D two, three, four. D two, two. Suspended, two, three, four, and D, two, three, four. Now your D chord will complement with a lot of other songs, a lot of other chords. Um, like if you start in the key of A, if you start on a key of A on a song, you can then go to the D, and then you can also go to the key of E. So you may want to practice uh, going A four beats, D four beats, E four beats. 
um, or any type of version of that. So there's a lot of good songs out there with three chords uh, using A, D, and E. So uh, happy playing and have a good practice.